Hey guys, I have donned my apron. I've got a neon pink candy inspired lipstick on and today we are going to bake. It is my sister's baby's sex reveal tomorrow which I've been organising and my sister a couple of weeks ago slipped an envelope under my door which had the sex of her baby in. No one else knows what the sex is, everyone is so excited and I can't quite believe I've had the honour of finding out before even the parents. So I've been racking my brains on nice ways to reveal it to the couple. So I'm hosting a Zoom call with their friends and our family tomorrow. I really didn't want to do anything stereotypical. I didn't want to do pink or blue. I just find that gender stereotypes I'm just not on board with. But I still really liked the idea of baking them a cake. So today I'm going to be vlogging me attempting to bake a rainbow pinata cake. I have got great ideas for how to reveal the gender inside because I, as I said I don't want them to cut into it and it for it to be blue or pink. So I'm gonna do a rainbow cake. So they're gonna think as they're cutting into it that they're gonna find out the sex from the color, but nope, it's gonna be a rainbow. But then I'm gonna have loads of sweets falling out middle. I've got this in my head. Sweets falling out middle and then inside the sweets will be something little that they can open and it will say, girl on so i can say it now because by the time she watches this everyone will know so they're having a little girl so exciting so yeah i thought it'd be really fun to document this process because i'm not a great baker but i have very good expectations for myself for this so let's get started i've been collecting stuff and buying stuff for this for so long. I should mention one of the reasons I decided to do this myself, apart from it being nice and personal because I'm making it, is that the price of custom created cakes was upwards from 150 pounds, which is fine, like they totally deserve that. But I was like, if I could do it a little bit cheaper than that, I'll be saving myself a lot of money. As it turns out, I've definitely gone over budget. I've, I think I've probably spent about £250 prepping for this cake. I'll show you what I got. So I've been, yeah, getting loads of stuff from eBay and Amazon. Loads of sprinkles. Sprinkles are really expensive. It's a baby thing to go on top. More sprinkles. All the ingredients. Food colourings. I had to get a very good food colouring from eBay. I'll leave them down below. I have high hopes for these. Cake board. I have a whole kit that I'll show you in a bit. And I also bought a gorgeous sexy mixer, especially for the job. For the rainbow cake recipe, I'm following a blog post I found on Google, Carrie's Cooks. I'll leave a link down below. Yeah, it's just like a, a bog standard rainbow cake, but I'm gonna be following another recipe for the pinata bit because this doesn't have those directions on. Apparently it will take an hour and 10 minutes. It's gonna definitely take longer than that because I'm so slow and I'm vlogging. But let's do this. 350 grams of self-raising flour. Okay, so I'm just gonna prep all my ingredients on the scales. I feel like, should I make this recipe a little bit more? I know that I want to potentially do an extra layer because I want this cake to be really freaking impressive looking and if it has a bit more height to it it will look more impressive so shall I double this recipe or add an extra quarter on I'm not very good at maths I'm gonna get some pen and paper so one great tip that this recipe blog had was to buy disposable flan tins for your cakes I just don't have six baking tins for cakes and I didn't want to spend all day making them separately so yeah I bought these from eBay for like one pound rub these with some butter just to prepare them I hope this is gonna work cream your butter and sugar until combined oh god oh no sugar everywhere I need to hoover this up before the cat comes over and starts licking oh no 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 I've got an audience. All right. We're just about to start mixing. You excited? Right, butter and sugar. Let's do this. Oh, all my butter's just stuck up in in my whisk. Look, <laughs> disaster already. Right now eggs are going in one by one, followed by a little of the flour and mix well. No! Shit! Still put the eggshell in there. Okay, I got to a place where I was happy with the consistency. I think it's still a tiny bit too thick maybe, but 
I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna add the colors now. So I've divided it up into one, two, three, four, five, six bowls. This is the bit I'm really excited about. Apparently these go everywhere, so I have to be really careful. And also, oh God, oh God. Yeah, that's gonna stain. Apparently you only need a tiny bit as well. So I'm gonna do purple first in this huge one. The recipe says like a teaspoon, but I'm gonna start small. I'm gonna start, start with that. I'm so excited about this. I need to remember that they're gonna rise as well, so I shouldn't get too upset if it doesn't look good enough. The purple layer is just gonna be huge compared to the rest. Look at all of them, my colors. I think I'm happy with all of those colors. I guess it's just like, yeah, wait and see how they turn out. I'm hoping I've got enough. I think I might just have to cut this one in half, which is gonna be very difficult. Wow, wow, wow. Right, we are ready to bake. I'm slightly concerned with these tins because they're like warping the shape of them. So I'm hoping I don't have to do too much reconstruction to make them all fit on top of each other, but yeah, I'm really excited about these. The colors are perfect. Okay, my cakes are in the oven and I've already had a bit of a fail. One of them was slightly on the wonk, so it's gone all over to one side, so it's a very lopsided blue bit of sponge. But I've got 10 minutes left to just do some washing up. And I thought in this time, I do need to pop out and get some butter whilst the cakes are cooling, but I thought, I would take this opportunity to design what the outside of my cake is going to look like. My apple pen is not working. Why are you not working? I am going to design my cake. I think I want to do some sort of like ombre icing would be cool. I don't want to do colors but i'm gonna have to yeah that looks fucking great and then i'm gonna add a shit ton of sprinkles so sprinkles some icing some ombre frosting and then also maybe some like bits of dripping icing down the other side like that maybe like that that would look cool as fuck so my fail is that my cakes have absolutely like gone gone to shit basically they are all very domed so i'm going to need to cut them quite a bit this one was on a wonk so it's like a crisp can you see that like basically i've just made them all a crisp at the edges so one one side of it is not going to be very nice so i'm going to tell them to eat the other side basically i don't know i don't really know what i, what I did wrong oh yeah this is a this is a right fail can't start again that took that took me hours i started this at 10 and it's now half half 12. i'm gonna open this box of cook like cake accessories maybe i can just make up for it with the decoration i'm sure it would still look good okay so i got this from i think it was amazon like 35 quid or something and it's got everything you need to decorate a cake it's got the spinning tabletop this is supposed to be rose gold but it's pink so i hope they don't think that this is what the color is going to be but i got a cake thing to sit on there measurement mat um cake tools this is what i'm most excited about it's like piping nozzles you can like pipe on little flowers on this and then use the scissors to like cut it off and stick it on your cake so i might experiment with that i've never done anything like this before i should let you know got some like smoothies to smooth smooth the sides down also got some piping bags oh cool there's some piping bags as well I don't know what these are for cleaning. And then some nozzles. I am making my frosting now. I doubled the recipe, which I probably shouldn't have done because I'm not going to need that much frosting. 12,000 grams of icing sugar <laughs> in my butter and cream cheese. And it's just a cloud. I'm living in a cloud of smoke. I've still got all of this to go. Okay, I've made my frosting. It's chilling in the fridge. 
I've also got some here on the side that I'm going to use to drip. I don't want it hard, so I've left it out. Now is the bit that I was kind of looking forward to, but I'm not going to be able to do just because I fucked my um, cake up. I was going to level it out. So it's all one level, so they stack really nicely, except because something happened. If I leveled this out, it would be like that wide. So I'm not going to do that. I think I'm just going to cut my cookie cutter holes in for my pinata section and uh, then try and balance them all on top. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I've lost it already. I don't know what I'm doing. Should I flatten it a little bit? Should I just take... I might do it. Okay. I'm just going to take the top bit off. Like that. Okay, and I could even put that there. <laughs> No, I can't. I can't do that. If I made this cake smaller, it wouldn't have this crispy bit on. I'm wondering if I should cut a chunk off. It'd be a lot smaller though. I think I'm going to do that, you know. I should really use something to like face around. Perfect. Do you want to try some cake, babe? Finally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually tasted cake that day. Yeah. Not done. Look at this fucking mess, babe. Mm -hmm. Is this all to be eaten? Yeah. Why are you doing that? Because it's hot. Look, it's crisp. Mmm. Is it now. good? Mmm. Yummy. That's actually really nice. We should just have this as dipping sauce constantly. Mmm. Well, it tastes great, even oh, if it's got cat hair in it. This is so vibrant, I love it. That is so vibrant, look at that. I mean, that yellow and orange looks very similar. Look, that looks so tall. It's actually really tall, that's so funny. That is so tall, I don't think it's gonna fit in my cake box. This is gonna be the one that I don't cookie cut because that's gonna be the lid. Do this one by eye, so in the center, Ideally, I would like a smaller cookie cutter, but I don't have that. Okay. Oh no, it's stuck. Come on. Okay, amazing. So I'm gonna make a separate cake for me and G with these little bits. I'm gonna put my blue one down and put this one on top. Slightly on the wonk, but it will be fine. Oh dear. Oh shit. And then yeah, that's done. So now I can start assembling. Here's my chill icing. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my cake stand. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of icing here in the middle. It sticks and didn't doesn't roll off. Oh, I should have done that around the outside, not directly in the middle. I've written, it's a girl in calligraphy on a little scroll and I tied it up with sequins and wrapped it in cling film. And I'm gonna put it in, I'm really nervous about this bit. I've got heart palpitations. I've also got M&Ms with no nuts, cause it's a girl, and Smarties that I'm gonna fill it with. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put some of these in. I so, oh no, wait, what? I thought they were gonna be colorful. Wow, look at those. Look at that. Put some of those in. They don't give anything away. Sweeties. And wrinkles. <laughs> so jealous I'm not gonna be able to see this like, cut open. Right, I'm gonna put this in now, in the middle. Wowza. Oh, wow. That is full of sprinkles. I cannot wait to see a video of that being cut into. Right, and now I can continue icing the rest of it. Oh, I can put the lid on. Here we go. Finished cake. Right, let's get that icing out and ice some more. First 
layer of icing has been chilling in the fridge for an hour i'm gonna get it out now give it another icing and then i think it needs another hour after that so yeah a lot of icing i also added some dye to my frosting so i've got a purple and a yellow and here we go that definitely feels more firm except for that massive hole which is not good let's get it iced I'm gonna chill out for another hour. I'm just about to text my sister to make some room in her fridge because I don't want it to melt. So G's gonna measure it. <laughs> Take measure it. Oh, it's only. Oh no. Okay, it's about six inches. Six inches? Yeah. Okay, six inches. Half a foot. Six inches. Oh, do you think it should have been this big? <laughs> <laughs> Amount of time. And literally it is four o'clock. I started at 10 a.m. I'm knackered. <sighs> One more hour later, I'm gonna finish frosting this and then I can decorate. Finally, I cannot wait for this to be over. I'm so knackered. <laughs> okay, yellow, let's do this. Let's finish this bad boy. Chilling makes such a difference. It's so much more easy to layer now is, i'm not gonna lie this is a right mess this is not as beautiful as i thought it was gonna be there's not much i can do about it what does this do gives kind of cool cool effect could do that on top like that like that very nice and then i might do the rest of this smooth or oh, bit messing around there sprinkles i got this unicorn frosting thing from Sainsbury's so I'm gonna make some nice little stars on oh. okay I just filled up a piping bag and piped my kitchen floor but I'm gonna pipe some onto here as well oh wow oh my god <laughs> oh no a little bit green i didn't really want it to be pink because that's looks like it's a girl it looks like a girl's cake are they gonna know i really hope not oh, yeah. can you hold that and then oh oh yeah My granddad's gonna be like, what the fuck is that? Babe, this is what is so impressive. You've made that. Babe, you made that. Yeah, I made it and I'm not even gonna to get to eat it. I mean, you can't you can't get cooler than that, right? Am I right? Right, I'm done. Yay! Proud of you. Thanks. let me know what you think i am going to insert some clips here of cutting into the cake and from the reveal it's a very blunt knife isn't it oh no Hey. Oh, 
<laughs> um, loads of treasure in the middle. <laughs> You're demolishing my masterpiece. Oh my god, my lovely cake! <laughs> this video i absolutely knackered but i hope it's been entertaining and if you copy it let me know send me a pic love you guys all